Okay, we're back at Chepstone Island for a three mile hurdle, and the top one is Silver Bullet for Alex Cherry. Redwood Edition, David Robertson, Priceless Impact, Derek Hinton, Subway Sect, Kevin Meanhan, Jumping Jack, Flash, Paul Rhodes, Silver, D. Hooley, Hyacinth, Kalapa, Darren Thompson, Initial Legacy for Craig Allen, The White Witch, Joshua Sutherland, Black Magic Woman, Leon Van Rensburg, Sparky Ann, Martin Lederman, Birthplace for Graham Clutterbuck. So, rain's coming down then, and away they go. Their way towards the first flight in this long distance hurdle race and Silver Bullet in those Alex Cherry colours has just been driven into the lead. So getting their way towards the first of the 13 flights then and they all skip over the first one nicely. I can't imagine there'll be too many problems with these hurdles, they don't look particularly big and Silver Bullet is in the lead from Jumping Jack Flash in second, birthplace Closer to us is in third, and the pink jacketed priceless impact, the white witch, is the grey closest to us. The other grey is silver. They're making this long run then towards the second flight. Uh, silver bullet in the rain in the lead. Well, a couple of lengths to jumping jack flash in second and birthplace third. And a gap of a length or so to priceless impact on the white witch. The orange jacketed Sparky Ann is after that one. And Subway Sect, the second of the greys is Silver Hyacinth. Kalapa is also in that little pack there with just behind the Black Magic Woman in the blue with the yellow cap. And initial Legacy and the green and the yellow hoops and the back marker Redwood Edition in those familiar David Robertson turquoise and purple hoops with a yellow cap that have been around as long as I've been around and probably been around longer than that as well to be honest but it's Silver Bullet in the lead coming towards the third which they get over okay although the horse in second jumping Jack Flash could have done with the jumping a little bit better because he's got a bit of a wallop come down to the fourth downhill flight and they're all safely over that one the Redwood Edition Jumped a little bit slowly towards the back, but Silver Bullet is clear by a couple of lengths. Do jumping Jack Flash in second, and Birthplace is third. The White Witch is fourth, but I feel like that one might have been in Joshua Sutherland's league team last season. In the Subway Sect after that, as they take the fifth, which they're all safely over. And Redwood Edition jumped that one much better. Silver was the one that jumped it slowly towards the back, but Silver Bullet will lead them past the winning post. Then for the first time, they're going to go around again, and. They'll swing left-handed now then, and take their final circuit off this Chepstow track, and Silver Bullet leads by a couple of lengths. Two jumping Jack Flash in second, and Birthplace in third. The White Witch is four, and Subway Sect is five. Then Sparky Alley six, and Priceless Impact is seven, with Hyacinth Clapper eight, and then Black Magic Woman nine, and Initial Legacies after that one. And then finally Silver and Redwood Edition is just a couple of lengths off the rest of them at the back. Well, they're racing uphill now then towards the next flight as they now get back onto the level again and Silver Bullet in the lead by about a length and they go back uphill, uphill and downhill this track at Chepstow and Silver Bullet is in the lead by about half a length to Jumping Jack Flash in second Birthplace is third, the White Witch is four and Subway Sect and Sparky Ant a long one to this one but they get into it eventually and over it they go and all over that one Okay as well, with Silver Bullet only in the lead by about a head now to jump in Jack Flash in second. Birthplace has been close up all the way around as they take the seventh. Good jump there by the White Witch. That's the leading four making a forward move. His initial legacy on the outside of Sparky Ann. Coming on the inside of them is Black Magic Woman. Subway Sect is still there. Then Priceless Impact as they get over the eighth. And over the eighth, Redwood Edition is still the back marker. And Silver is still the back but one. But it's Jumping Jack Flash who's now gone on by about three quarters of a length. Jumping Jack Flash on the outside of Silver Bullet. The White Witch is third. Birthplace is four. Initial Legacy is getting much closer. Sparky Ann being pushed along. Black Magic Woman is still going well. Then Subway Sector as they take the ninth. And all over that one okay as well with Jumping Jack Flash in the lead by a length. To Silver Bullet who's still going well in second. Birthplace has been third pretty much all the way. Then the White Witch is fourth. And Black Magic Woman is fifth. Then Initial Legacy after that one. Sparky Ann is next. Then Hyacinth Calapa and Priceless Impact with Subway Sector. Redwood Edition has got 
past Silver, who's now the back marker. But it's Jumping Jack flashing the lead by a couple of lengths then almost as they begin to make this long sweep towards home. And it's Jumping Jack flashing the lead. The White Witch is now moving up into second. Silver Bullet being pushed along in third. Black Magic Woman is cruising ominously around the outside. Then Initial Legacy is after that one. Lost its place a little bit near his birthplace. Hyacinth Calapper is leading the chase. In fact, the one that's making eye-catching progress is Redwood Edition, who's come from last, but he's now beginning to move on to join that leading group. And suddenly, Black Magic Woman has swept into the lead. It's Black Magic Woman from the White Witch. It's a hoodoo spell on everybody. The two in the lead, Black Magic Woman and the White Witch, skip over it. Jumping Jack flashes third. Look at this Redwood Edition on the outside. Initial Legacy is still there as well, and trying to run on again his birthplace. They're racing down towards the final three furlongs in this race. They've got three more flights to take, and over the third last they go. And it's Redwood Edition on the outside. Initial our legacy, the White Witch and Black Magic Woman, these are the four then, and it's Black Magic Woman who's beginning to go on again now as they race downhill towards the second last flight, Black Magic Woman gets over in the lead, gets away from it, well here comes Redwood Edition on the outside, then the White Witch is on the inside in third, then comes Initial Legacies between these four, Black Magic Woman's gone for home, just one to take, Black Magic Woman too clear, racing down towards the final flight, then it's Black Magic Woman in the lead, from the White Witch in second, skips over it nicely, White Witch jumps it better, Redwood Edition is third, then Initial Legacy is four, it's Black Magic Woman still in the lead inside the final half furlong. Being pushed along in the lead, but looks like he's got enough to take it. And Black Magic Woman has got a better spell than the White Witch. And Black Magic Woman's at the White Witch's second. Redwood Edition third. Initial Legacy four. Jumping Chap Flash five. Then after that one, came Hyacinth Calapa Sparky and dropped right out to be last. But it was hoodoo, voodoo and spells all the way as the Black Magic Woman beats the White Witch. Redwood Edition back in third and Initial Legacy fourth with Jumping Jack Flash back in fifth. No satisfaction for that one today. Uh, Black Magic Woman then takes it. Oh, Leon Van Rensburg, the White Witch second for Joshua Sutherland. Redwood Edition for David Robertson third. Initial Legacy for Craig Allen fourth. And Jumping Jack Flash for Paul Rhodes was fifth.